dock, the Savoy's Savoy reopened it last did. night. I think the uh, Savoy, which you were, you've been quite rightly saying is an eyesore and yeah. a scam on the knees of the city. I did. You're happy with it now? I am. Right. And and they. But you wanted to knock it down. I didn't turn want it into a park. I, I wanted to. I wanted to turn it into something. But look, the. Uh, the owners, the Rosethorn family, and, and I did on this program quite regularly, I would knock it. Young Harry Rosethorn wrote to me and he said he talked his dad into doing a reno of it and he came and saw me and they had what I thought was a really smart plan for it. And these two young men, Harry Rosethorn and Sam Daish, have done a remarkable job down there and, you know, they, they were scrambling to get it all ready for last night, but they got to the line. And, and I think it'll be a great addition to Melbourne. I think it won't be the spot you go before you go to the Dockland Stadium, right? It will be. It, yeah. it, it'll be. But it, they, they wanted it to be a kind of everyman pub. They didn't want it too sort of spit polished. And they wanted to keep some elements of the Savoy, which they have done. So I think they've done, done a remarkable job. I'm, I must say, I'm, I'm very pleased about the sort of eyesores of the city. You know, we talked about, you know, Collins Street there at, at uh, 579 Collins Street. Well, that's now a latent building. It had been a, a vacant block for 30 years. The Savoy has now been redone. The Argus building is in process of being renovated. And we're negotiating with the owners of the Suncor building on Collins Street, because that's an eyesore that's fenced off as well. So that's four of those big eyesores that by the end of this year, um, I, I believe will be fixed, and that's great for our city. So Suncor building and the Argus building, you have any other targets that you want to fix? Um, look, they were the big four. Town um, Hall could do a bit of spruce up. Oh, particularly inside, you know. Anyway, but uh, no, I don't tired. think we do. Uh, it, look, it is a bit, but it still functions. We probably will do something to Town Hall um, in, in the next four or five years, but it's, it's not an immediate sort of uh, priority. So are there any eyesores you want to... Uh, Fix. Oh, the old age building? How about that? Well, isn't that going to be apartments? It is indeed. That's not an eyesore, is it? Oh, it's hideous. What, the one corner of Spencer? And, yeah, uh, it's absolutely Lons hideous. Lons and the old, the old power station was pretty hideous as well. That's gone. Yeah, so, you know, bit by bit. What's happening to the age building? Uh, apartments. Yeah. When? Uh, I'm not sure about the answer to that, but the permit has been granted and there are five towers that go down there. Towers? It's, Why it's do we have to have towers everywhere? Because uh, we're a city. But, but we're, we're going to be full of apartments. Not, Nobody not, wants to live there. Are you kidding? Look at are, the you, are you joking? No one wants to live there. In this the is lands. this is the most vibrant growth area in accommodation, in residential, in not just in Melbourne, in Australia. Okay, well if you build all these apartments, yeah. where, where are people going to the supermarket? Ah. Interesting you should say that. Last year, the biggest number of new businesses opening were little supermarkets throughout the city. Oh, the others you can't buy a pack of cigarettes, that's all. No, no, people buy groceries, and when we finish the Queen Victoria market, that will be a hub as well. well. That's good, that's good. So, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, I, I, I'm, I'm teasing a little bit, but it is an issue, isn't it? If you do start more people living in the city, you do need big supermarkets. You, you do, you need services for them, services, absolutely. Yeah. But, but, unless we, but unless we do, think of it this way. Unless we do have more people living close to the city and close to where they work, then Melbourne continues to spread at the outer edges and we can't afford to provide infrastructure like public transport and roads and schools and all of those things on the outer fringes of Melbourne. Those things are here. So we need to upgrade the infrastructure here, provide more housing here, and we can do it and still keep the Melbourne we love.